Uh, the age-old question, which Kelvin rating do I run? What wattage ballast do I buy? I'm going to talk about a few of these things and uh, hopefully the information that I'll give you will help you make the right decision on what's best for you. So what we'll do here is we will look at three different bulbs. Uh, these are the new profile powerhouse bulbs, but they perform very similarly to a lot of the other ones in our product lines, such as the Morimoto XBs or the Acmes. Um, so for all intensive purposes, uh, this comparison will be applicable to everything that you could find in our store. So over here on your left, we have the 4500K in the middle, 5500K, and on the right, 6500K. Now, talk about some of the benefits and the downsides of each. 4500K, we'll start over here. This is essentially what any car with factory installed HID headlights comes with stock. Mercedes, BMW, Audi, Lexus, Toyota, you name it. 4300K, 4500K. Uh, it is basically a warm white light. Um, it's essentially intended to be used in all weather driving, so it's not necessarily perfect for clear conditions, it's not necessarily perfect for when it's rainy and snowy and foggy outside, but it's the best all arounder. Uh, 5000K, you know, 5500K in the middle is by far our most popular Kelvin rating. It's considered to be the most neutral white light with no off-white color like a 4500K, but no bluish color either, really, like the 6500K would have. It's also great for all-round driving. Um, you know, it's gonna give you great visibility, and the 5500K in most lines actually provides the most luminosity too, so it's physically the brightest. Another good reason why it's the most popular. Now, 6500K is for the guys who want a little bit more blue color in their light output, you know, and are willing to sacrifice a little bit of light output to get it. It's a good looking bowl, there's no doubt about it. It's not too blue, it's not too ricey. Uh, we don't offer anything above 6500K. Um, but the fact is that in exchange for a little bit more of that blue color, you're going to be losing a little bit of luminosity because as you go up that Kelvin scale, you do lose uh, luminosity. Now, the other part of the equation that everybody needs to consider is the ballast that you're running on and then the power output of those ballasts. So, all bulbs essentially are rated at their Kelvin and the color that they're going to produce at 35 watts. Now, that's industry standard. It's what we generally recommend. It still produces about three times the amount of light output of that of a traditional halogen bulb that most of these systems end up replacing. Uh, for those of you who want to go with a 50 watt setup, get a little bit more light output, nothing wrong with that. But what you do need to consider is that by boosting the output of the HID setup, you're going to be dropping the Kelvin rating of the bulb. So for example, if you pick a 6500K bulb, you run it with a 50 watt ballast, you're then going to end up looking like a 5500K. 5500K will look like 4500K, et cetera, and so on. So again, 50 watts, you're gonna get more light output, but you're gonna be reducing the Kelvin, so you should choose the next highest Kelvin to end up back at the one that you actually want. So hopefully this information was helpful for you guys. It is a question that almost all of our customers ask, so we thought that it would be important to take a few minutes to make this video for you. And um, you know, we, we can definitely answer any other questions you have. We also carry a 3000K option, which is great for use in the fog and snow. It's not shown here. But, um, you know, we've got something for everybody and we'd be happy to make a recommendation based on your specific uh, driving needs. All right, guys. Take care.